I want to jump into some sales training. Uh, I want to throw in some stories and, and some of those things before. But I want to talk to people that have a sales team or people that want to have a sales team. Okay, I did a recent webinar on this topic. There was not very many team owners on it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna also add a spin to it for anybody that has a sales team or that wants to build a sales team. Okay, I'm gonna give you seven things you need to know really quick. Seven things you need to know really quick in about seven minutes that you can immediately take away and apply to your sales team and get results and see results. Who wants those seven secrets in seven minutes? All right, good, perfect, perfect. I saw some hands. I only heard a few people, though, so maybe we'll give three or four, or should we give all seven? I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. Help me out, then. Let me hear it. Let, 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 me, let me hear it as we're almost done. The first one is we hire slow. I have bad handwriting, but it's not as bad as Jordan Belfort. I learned that quickly. I'm like, dude, I don't even know if you can see what you're writing, but it's good. It's good. Which we hire slow. We put someone through several interviews, and the first question we ask them when we're about to hire them is, what do you know about our company? If they did no research, or they're lazy, and we escort them to the door immediately. A total waste of time. Okay? We also put them through a DISC assessment, a personality assessment, because I want to know their behavior. Okay? What the DISC is, is... I want to hire salespeople that have a leading letter. Their dominant letter is either a D or an I. D is like I'm driven, I'm a self-starter, I'm a risk taker, I'm aggressive, right? I'm personally 100 on a D. I is influential, social, good personality, but I can also influence people in making decisions and doing things, right? Who thinks that influence people in making decisions is, good and is important in sales, right? I'm a 90 there. S, I consider it more service-related Steady, right? Customer service is the type of position we would do for that. And then C's more like conscientious, really computer work, analytical data, that kind of stuff, right? Most, some of our Facebook engineers. We put them through this. And if they have a leading letter of a D or I, when we're recruiting salespeople, we will, ask, we, we will invite them to a second interview where we will bring in a sales director to explain how working at our office has changed their life, this and that, and they're able to share their experiences, a testimonial, kind of like Silver did earlier, and they're able to share with them why they, why they are fortunate to get, a, get to work with us in our office. Okay, so the big key is I used to hire everyone. Now Andy does all the interviews and, and, and we hire very slow. Very, very slow. We take our time, right? It's a privilege to be on our sales team. It's an absolute, it is, you know, they make phenomenal money and, and at any point, if they don't view it as such, I don't want them working there, right? So we hire slow. We also fire fast as, as, as I move into that. If I'm seeing patterns that I, that, that, that's over and over within the first 24, 48, 72 hours, I'm cutting ties at that moment. There's no reason, if, if you're seeing it that early, you're, it's going to come up again, you know, and a lot of us are too afraid to be honest, honest with people. Judge and Matt just talked about that yesterday. Most of us are scared to be honest with people we work with, so we fire fast. We also have quotas in the first 15 days, 15 business days. If they don't hit them, hasta la vista, baby. Okay. Hire slow, fire fast. Third is we set expectations out of the gate as I'm trying to figure out how to spell it. Okay, set expectations out of the gate. And that is to not, that's, that's not only activity numbers, dials, that's, you know, because for example, we have an 8.30 all team meeting to kick off every single day, 60, 70 people. Then from 8.40 to nine, and from 1.30 to two, we have two sales related trainings every single day, twice a day. If it's good enough to do it one day, it's good enough to do every day, right? So we do this every single day, two times a day, and we set the expectations that when you're in this meeting, you're going to be paying attention, you're going to be taking notes, you will, it, it, you, you're not going to be late, you're not going to be on your phone, you're not going to talk to customers. Like if they're in the room and they're on the phone with the customer or about to start a sales training, I will, and they don't get off, I will physically walk over. So sorry, I'll call you back in five minutes and hang up. I don't care if they're about to make the sale or not. I don't care. Because this time is the most important part of the day. 
And you've got to set the tone early. Most people do not set the tone early with their sales team. And they let people get away with stuff. And before you know it, they're in a rut. They're unmotivated. And you're like, oh, my gosh, man, I, I don't know what to do because none of my salespeople will freaking care. That was me two years ago. That will never be me again. So we set expectations up front. We also track their activity daily. We have leaderboards around the office tracking all their activity so that we know every second of every day what's going on. I want to know, I want to know, I want to know dials. I want to know conversations. I want to know talk time. I want to know sales. And I want to know revenue. Okay, so we are literally tracking their activity constantly. We also have a white, we have a whiteboard really exactly like this in our office. And we keep track of their week on a whiteboard. Everybody's got to go up and put. So each day, this would be like Monday, Tuesday, and then we have a total box at the end. If you want, shoot me an email, Cody at Cody Askins. I'll send you a picture because this is not what it looks like, okay? We have them insert. We have them insert. Dials, conversations, sales, and money at the end of each day. They have to physically walk up before they leave and fill it out. Because who wants to walk up and do that every day? Nobody. Especially if this is the type of personality they are. They hate it, right? So again, we're tracking activity, and then we can see daily numbers, weekly numbers, monthly numbers, the previous week, the previous month, and we're able to track that for every single rep in our office. Okay, so after tracking activity, we already talked about this briefly, we train every single day, but when we train, it's videos, like I have a CA sales system that you've probably seen around that we released this year that has over 450 modules and quizzes and is specifically built for insurance sales teams to plug in and train every single day. And it's me on all the videos, as well as a monthly live Q&A that's group style for anyone that's a member of our sales system or any team or any, or, or any agent to actually get on and be specifically trained by me every month physically as well, not just video content. Okay, so we're training every day. We're watching videos. We're role playing. And like Jordan talked about in, in the fire, the little fire get together, it's something specific. It's something small. It's an objection. It's this phrase. It's how to ask for the business with this. It's the client says this, and what do you say? It's our intro pitch so that when we get on the phone the first time, we're not rusty. Who's ever made a call and you're like, dude, I've, I screwed that up? I felt rusty. That sucked. And I hope I never do that again, right? We just lost money. You lost money, I lost money, and we're operating a business because we're not a charity because we want to make money, right? So we are improving every single day. They are getting better every single day. That's the point. Okay, then we jump into some energy activity. Jumping jacks, push-ups, squats, run around the building, something. Again, because I need their energy up. If they woke up at 7.30, they got to the office at 8.30, and, they, and, and that's pretty much, I, th I mean, I consider that sleeping in, by the way. They get to the office and maybe they haven't had coffee or they're running late or they're stressed out or they're, you know, whatever. I need to wake them up. They can't like float through the day and finally wake up at 10, 11 o'clock. It's just, it's, it's dumb. So energy activity and then a little uh, one, two, three cells or they do like a Ric Flair woo on Wednesdays. I don't know. They change it up. But something is like, and, 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 and I, like the people that came to the retreat, like, how, was, how much was our sales room, like, freaking buzzing, man? Like, it's, it's like, the, we, got, we got music playing in the background to help the energy. Like, the culture and, and the room is just, it's buzzing. It's, it's, it's fun. It's, it's like, you no one wants to go to an office, sit in a cubicle or in a random office, and be all alone with no music, no supervision, whether they say they don't want supervision or not, they do, I promise. Because when they get supervision, they make more money. So, like, you know, I don't know why they wouldn't. Okay? So, that's, so, so we train daily. Two more, real quick. We're going to bring Nate up. We do a monthly P&L on every single salesperson. If I'm spending money on them in any way, I want to see if I lost money or made money. 
And if we lose money two months in a row on somebody, we let them go. Doesn't happen more than once. Pretty rare because of how structured our systems are in our office. So monthly P&L. If you want an example of that, Andy can probably get it to you. Okay. And then the last one is focus and urgency. For our marketing sales team, Landon just released a Xbox, new Xbox 5 series something, Xboxy, I don't know. Uh, some prize from contest that I, th I think he got the idea from, from, from JB or somebody. Uh, somebody released an Xbox contest on Facebook or something. I think we stole the idea. I don't know. Um, for our sales team. And we are constantly looking for ways to re-energize, to refocus. We'll have random spiffs. We'll give stuff away. We'll give out cash. I'll walk in and say, all right, the next person make a sale gets 100 bucks, right? Something, right? So that we're always increasing the focus and the urgency. We had several contests lined up for this year that didn't happen. Um, for like winning the NBA, a trip to the NBA Finals and the World Series and all this stuff. Uh, we've paid, we're paying them in different ways when they win those contests, but some way to keep their attention, right? To keep the urgency up. And so we'll do like random sales where we're like, you know, we're, 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 do, we're, we're, we're selling this for the next 24 hours and the, the leader wins something, right? To keep them enthused and to keep the focus and the urgency up, right? So... If I'm ever able to work with you or your sales team, I would love to. That's my passion is sales training in, in, in helping teams get to another level. I've learned a ton over the last few years on doing that in organizations that I used to be absolutely horrible at. Okay, And some of you are probably in the misuse I was in and it, it sucks and you want to eventually get out. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there. Click on it. See you in there. Today, I want to talk about how to write 100 Medicare policies during AEP of this year, right? We're a few weeks away. We're like, uh, what, a month and six days?